Hello, here we are again for the head and neck. And this is a neck on winding that I'm going to show you today. It's probably one of my clients' favorites of all because it really um, unwinds a lot and it feels so good. The one thing I will tell you about this is you'll notice a lot of stress people have in their necks. It's really hard for some people to let go. So they'll be helping you. They think that that's where you want to go and they'll be doing it. So you want to tell them to try to relax all the muscles in the neck so that they, you can just move on its own. Otherwise, you're just going to be fighting what they think you're going to do. And it, it's just not what you want to do. So I start out by putting my hand underneath her head and cradle her head. And then the, this hand is going to go underneath her neck. The hands are going to change positions quite a bit. And what I do here is I just kind of get down low. I do get kind of in a second position plie and bend down so I can stay straight with this. And then I'm going to lift the head up slightly and my hands are changing position. So the neck, the hand that was on the neck has slid up to cradle the head. And then you're going to turn and you want to be mindful of what those little joints are doing in the cervical vertebrae and let it go. Sometimes people, this is very good um, rotation. When it starts to feel kind of tight that you don't want to go too far, you don't want to hurt them, then I'm changing my hands again and I'm moving in this direction. And then you can move the head. So we're going to do that a little bit more because you go back and forth with this. You can side it and then move and then take it a little more to the side and then rotate back. So that's two different range of motion patterns. And then there's another thing that's really nice to do once you get that loosened up a little bit. You take the hand that's, that's not cradling the head and you slip it underneath the neck and as, and then you're letting the head kind of rest on this part of the arm so that you're, you're still supporting their head. You want to be sure that you're supporting their head. And as I'm turning her head this way now, I'm taking my fingers and very gently sliding right up that alongside the vertebrae. And it's in the muscle right alongside the vertebrae. And then this other side and pull it up with that little pull. And you can do that a couple times. People really, and you can take it in a different angle. You can go a little bit higher with it and then let it drop and go a little higher with it and then let it drop. And then you can center the head and then lift the head up like it's looking forward. I like to take two fingers on each side of the vertebrae and stretch as I go up. And then I exchange hands. So the other hand is cradling the neck. This hand is going to come to the neck and I'm going to hold the neck as I drop the head. And then let the neck fall and the head straighten. Begin lifting up and letting the head roll back. And while you're doing that, your fingers on the neck are keeping a separation with the vertebrae. You don't want to let them squish. You're kind of separating them. So your fingers will kind of separate apart as the head is going back because you'll feel, you'll feel the vertebrae coming together. Okay. And then you can go from side to side just this way. And then, and you want to go slow with this and that way. And check one more time to the side and then to the side. You can place the head down and pull that up and back thing that we've talked about earlier in the other videos is you want to make sure that the back of their head is stretched as high as possible. And then you want to look where the chin is where the center of the chin is should come right to the sternoclavicular. And when that's aligned, then you've got it pretty well. Oftentimes you'll see a head that's maybe a little over to the side or to the other side, or you'll see it cocked like that and it won't quite straighten out. 
And so if you can find it like that. Now if the head is a little bit off, which is happening here, it's a little bit off center, the thing that would correct that would be going into the sphenoid bone, which is the cranial work. Oftentimes you can see a correction happen. It takes a, it takes a little bit of work to do that because there's a pretty strong pattern there. And then, of course, you also want to check shoulders and low back. Now, just that right there, rotating it a little bit more, you can see it's putting putting a lot, it's right better alignment right there. So just re-situating the neck and pulling and giving a little bit of a traction feeling was enough to correct her, uh, her alignment with her head. So there we go. Thank you so much. See you next time.